Yeah. The, mo the memorial of the RAF service then from 1943 to 1946. Yeah. Does anybody want to, what language is this? Latin. Latin. It's Latin, yeah. Does anybody want to translate, have a guess? What does it say? Uh, in, in remembrance to... No, no, here. The Astra. Per Ardua ad Astra. Astra, what could that be? Astra. 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 No. Oh, rest in peace. What do you see at night? Stars. 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 Per ardua ad astra means the way to the stars. Per ardua, as in ardent, in the, 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 the way to go. Per ardua ad astra, that's the RAF uh, motto. Um, this, is, this stone used to be behind the stands there, and everybody used to say, oh, there's the stone. Uh, and then they built this beautiful beach hedge. I wish they'd built it that way round because I think we could have seen it more. But the idea is that it is somewhere nice to come to, but we need a sign over there to say this way because nobody knows the memorial is here. But now you do. Blocks here. And you see the holes in them? Yeah. yeah. Well, they found that these are actually, you know, awful because it's, you know, it's just like a cheese grater. You know, you just. It's one thing buying these things. It's another thing to run it. I want to see it one. Is it open? The Ferrari badge. Nah. It has an Italian flag, a black horse which is prancing, <laughs> and it's on a yellow background. Because? Because the man that who. Squadron geezer the, gave it. The man father had a, was in the army who, was, who had a friend which was in the squadron, and he gave his badge to the Ferrari man, and the Ferrari man. Yours that as his car. Okay, thanks. Um, that's mine. Porsche 911 GT to the back heavy than uh, like something like a Lamborghini. The engine in the back, isn't it? Engi well, the engine's middle. That, that, look, you've got a transmission shaft sitting there. I mean, that's the back, that's the gearbox sitting there. The See? engine in the back. They got so, a this is all, it's got, also got a flap of pedal gearbox. Yeah, it's good. I mean, you've you got paddles, yeah. yeah. you got your paddles on there. Flap of pedal. Once again, you the engine's in the back of the car. Look at those rims, man. The rims are sick. So I'm just going to take his discaps. I won't take the whole car. I won't take the whole car. Look at the name. Under there. Porsche Centre, West London. That car is bombless. Four Bentleys all in a row. Check that out. And there's one inside a Bentley engine. Like six turbo W10. Well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get six wheels in Ibex. If you could just feel the heat coming off that engine. Whoa. Oh, Holy, <laughs> feel the heat. I'm feeling it through the grill. How many miles to the gallon, Trevor? Start asking questions without the front of your mouth. Next, we'll be asking how many CO2s. <laughs> Better close this down and do some more. How did you come to uh, oh, I left, come into I left school with virtually no GCSEs whatsoever. Went into, there's a college just on the other side of the circuit. I went there for four years and now I've got MVP level one, two, and three, so I'm pretty much the highest person you can get as high as you can get in work sport. Uh, went and done that and went for Ferrari for two years and went all across the world doing that when I was 18. Uh, went and done that, then went rallying for a year and then come here and done it's a really good thing to do, go all over the world on someone else's money. Yes. It's uh, <laughs> good. And then all over, I went to... So you went to the College of Motorsport? Yeah, on the other side of the circuit. It's good. It's hard to get into, but if you keep your heart at it, you yeah. know, it pays off. What, what would you say the, the, the thing that, that sort of took you through to you know work with Ferrari and, and on the rally circuit? Assistance. Yeah. Yeah. If you show that you're willing and do hours, like two weeks ago I worked 19 hours straight here. I didn't stop. So it's, it's only to show that you're keen and everything. So a lot of people just come out of school and don't want to do anything. It's off work. So pretty much four days running, I've had to work 22 hours a day. When I was a Ferrari, four days running, so you have no sleep, but you do it, you get, you get to do it. And 
Scotland and it's brilliant. I went to Italy every eight days for a year. I flew to Italy for four days, every eight days. So it's really good. If you want to see the world in that, it's mm -hmm. awesome. It's right. it's moving. But if you go and speak to the right people and get into motors and talk, you will love it. And this guy here, driving this, the best race drivers, find around this guy. Yeah. Today we're here at Silverstone, had a brilliant day so far, seen loads of cars, loads of Bentleys, Maseratis, Ferraris, Porsche 911 turbos, had a good day, learned, learned some stuff about uh, Ferrari, uh, figured that this Silverstone used to be an RAF base for the World War II and this is that so, so far, it's been a good day. Today in Silverstone we took pictures of loads of cars, seen lots of Bentleys because today it was a Bentley showcase and seen a couple of Ferraris and Porsches as well. We took lots of pictures with my friends and we had some stuff. Here we have Nathaniel Jinx. Nathaniel Jinx, there you go. Oh, I got his How's your day been today, Nathaniel? Alright. Been pretty good. Looking at all expensive cars. Seen some good cars. Yep. Favourite? Probably the Bentleys. Bentleys look awesome. You gonna come again in the future? Probably when I'm 18, just to drive right. some fast cars. Yep. Alright. Thanks for coming. This is the pit lane where all the cars come when they want to go and to have a pit stop. That's the pit wall where people can watch from. Not as the least. Hi, the green one in. When you're when you're third. Another Aston Martin. Um beginning to load over there. What a car. Here we have an idea of you of all the cars. Two Ferraris, another Ferrari, We've got an Aston Martin, a Lamborghini, an R8, a Lotus Elite, and a, a two Renault, and another Ferrari down the bottom. This is the Red Bull pit garage. This is Sebastian's vet up his stop, and that over there is Mark Webber's pit stop, which you can't really see. But these are the two Red Bulls. This is the world champion, and that is the British champion. And over there we have a lot of leaves which has just pulled in to the, pits, to the pit lane. Now we're coming up to the Porsche Centre where they have all the Porsches at Silverstone Raceway. Just give it a second, we'll get there. This is the Porsche Centre, yeah they have a lease on the land. This is the Porsche Centre right here. Check out all these cars people. Wow, Porsche. There we are. We've got Porsche 4x4s, Porsche. Porsche 911s, Porsche GTs, Porsche Carreras, Porsche GT2s, and look at this one, look at this one, oh. look at this one, look at that, oh, oh, quad bikes, quad bikes, we have quad bikes coming up, quad bike coming up, there it was, and now we've got all these Porsches, all these, oh, Abby, yellow car, I owe you like 20, hello, oh, my there's all the boots off, uh oh, 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 there's a hangar straight that we're going over now, this bridge. Uh, hangar straight. Yeah, well, it's where. Uh, ah! Yeah, it's a hangar. You're a dickhead, man. Move! When it was huh? Where? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just like it, right? You need to take a picture. Uh, they are right backing up, making way for the Bentley! <laughs> The baddest car out there. What a nice colour too.